This week, let me show you a trick that you can add to your color grading toolbox, the cinematic glow. Let's go. These clips that you just saw were shot in Bali a few months ago. Uh, we were there with Callum. Callum is a mental performance coach and a well-being coach. And this advertisement was shot uh, with the a7 III, the Sony mirrorless camera. And in this video I'm gonna not going to show you the color grading process, but I'm gonna show you how to make this glow effect in Premiere Pro. And this effect is really cool to give you, for example, you can use it to create these anamorphic, fake anamorphic uh, artifacts or then you can use it to give your highlights a nice glow to kind of affect the, the mood and feel of your clips. And uh, this is a really good tool to kind of take away a bit of that digital harshness that our super sharp mirrorless cameras sometimes have. So let's start um, playing around with Premiere so you can kind of uh, see how this glow effect is done. Here in Premiere I'm going to show you how to create this horizontal blur to your lighting light sources. And this glow is uh, located on this adjustment layer, so you can easily turn it off and on. So let's start by removing all the effects and starting from scratch so you can see how this is done. Uh, and before I show it, I want to mention that in uh, Premiere there is a relatively good glow effect uh, called the VR glow, but this is not as customizable as uh, the method that we're going to show next. So if you want to just add a quick glow in your uh, videos, you, can, you might uh, get away with this effect. But let me show you how you can kind of customize it to your liking uh, as much as you want. So the first thing is we're going to open up the Lumetri color effect. And in the secondary HSL secondaries, I'm going to turn off these ones and I'm just going to use this uh, uh, luminance uh, one. And with this, I'm uh, targeting what part of the image I want to have the glow. And I'm going to actually use the color on black and leave this check mark on. And with this, I can kind of uh, decide what, uh, what uh, part of the image, what kind of a uh, part of the light source is I want to have the glow effect. And that's about it for the first part. Then the next part is to add a Gaussian blur effect. And I'm going to add it two times. And I'm going to put this repeat X pixels on. And on the top one, I'm going to put it on horizontal. On the lower one, or, um, lower one I'm going to put it to vertical. And now I can start shaping the shape of the blur. So here I'm going to add a lot of uh, horizontal blur. So something like this. And then for avoiding it, being, uh, avoiding it from being too uh, rough on the edges, I'm going to add a bit of vertical blur as well, but not as much as uh, the horizontal blur. And then I'm going to apply RGB curves. And with this, I can uh, kind of shape uh, the uh, roll off. For example, here the roll off is very harsh. It's kind of a, it's uh, the values are bright, and then they kind of suddenly dive into your black. So with this, I can uh, kind of make the roll off much more smoother, and then it much makes it much more um, kind of natural in the image in the end image as well. And then with these color curves, I can actually give this uh, glow some color. And I think I would like to give it a kind of this um, interesting teal and then in the shadows it kind of starts from teal and goes into magenta. So it has a nice kind of a change in color uh, along the way. And that's now our glow effect and now we next need to blend it with the original footage. So here's our original footage and here's our glow. And to do the blending we are going to use blending modes. And in this case I like to use the light and blending mode. But you could use in different situations the uh, screen or you might use the color dodge or some other uh, blending modes. I'm not going to go into detail on how the mathematically these blending modes work. But in this case I just like to say that I like the lighting, a light and uh, blending mode. And then I'm going to uh, reduce the opacity to something uh, nice, for example 40. And now we have the, uh, kind of the glow effect. And I can go back to our settings, for example here I can play around on how uh, the glow works, maybe making it not so obvious or kind of working with the roll off and with the uh, caution blur I can go and affect the type of glow how it kind of works. So that's uh, how you do the horizontal blur 
and remember to not to overdo this. I think, for example, in this case, this is still way too strong. So I'm going to bring it down maybe to like, let's say 25%. So that's much more uh, pleasing look. Next, let me show you how you can add this kind of a warm glow to your highlights. And again, our glow effect is located on this adjustment layer and we can turn it off and on. And here you can see how it's wrapping around our subject, uh, giving it a very nice kind of a warm glow to the image. So let's start from scratch. Let's remove all of our effects and reset the opacity. So the first thing again is to go to the Lumetri panel effect and choose the color on black. Turn these two ones off and then kind of choose what part of the highlights we want to have the glow. And in this case, I like this one. And then again, adding the caution blur. And now I'm just going to use just one uh, effect because I'm not going to have, give it a, like a vertical uh, and horizontal uh, radius uh, separately. And let's have it same one, like 200. And next I'm going to go and show you the screen blending mode. And here you can see how this uh, glow is wrapping around our subject. But here you can see very clearly the harshness of uh, the edge. So in this case, again, I'm gonna add the RGB curves effect as our last one. And with this one, I'm, star I'm, I'm starting to sculpt the kind of the shape of the glow. So it uh, blends in much better with the image. And I can kind of uh, decide on how uh, this uh, glow affects the image. For example, I might not wanna, uh, I don't want it to make the highlights so much brighter. So I can bring the highlights down and uh, still have it affecting the kind of uh, this the subject and here you go here we have the glow and without the glow and then of course let's give it some color and in this case i'm going to go back to the lumetri uh, effect and then i'm going to start pushing color uh, to the glow so pushing it there to the warm spectrum maybe add a bit of uh, kind of this uh, what is this white balance and here we have our nice warm glow on our highlights and then of course don't overdo this uh, effects so this for example is a bit too strong so I'm gonna go back to the opacity and bring this down for example to 50% and now it's much more softer and not so noticeable but it still gives this image uh, this footage a nice uh, kind of a warm hopeful tone and it's removing a bit of that harsh digital look as well so that was the glow effect in practice in Premiere Pro if you want to learn more on how I capture and color grade my footage with the Sony cameras, there's a link below this video where you can check out. I have more content on that, on how I kind of process and make the Sony look cinematic. And if you are a Panasonic user, so for example, using the GH5, there's a link as well for you guys as well to on learning how I capture and color grade and basically make my footage more cinematic. So go and check out those links and uh, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.